day in my life as a thousandaire's wife. <laughs> so first, as a thousandaire's wife, you come to Sonic and you get a burrito for breakfast, brunch, and a sweet tea, and you bring your cute dog. Now us thousandaire wives can't be affording everything we buy, so off to do a return. You ready? So does anyone know if Coles allows dogs? Because we about to find out. Right, Wentz? We're gonna find out. He wants to come with. I'm kind of feeling embarrassed to try this. Oh, your leaves just stuck. You gotta be good. You gotta be good. Okay, wish us luck. You gotta be good. Okay, update. We didn't even try because we walked up to the door and he decided to bark at people. So I could tell he wasn't going to be good today and quiet and I'm bringing him home. Brought the puppy home. Now I'm going to put on some makeup because I did not this morning. Literally just slapping this on so I don't look dead and so I can cover this pimple like 40 and just randomly getting a pimple. Gives me a headache, like thinking about it. At what point in my life will I not have this happen out of the blue? When? So I went through the trouble of doing my makeup and then decided I'm going to go work out. See, as a thousandaire's wife, you get to do that. Like last minute, no big deal. You know how everybody has that one thing that they can't live without? Mine is a lint roller. I have one in my car, in my um, bathroom. I'm bringing one with me to work out. Like, I need a lint roller all the time. Just got done working out, fitting in some exercise, and going to get a smoothie, I think, and um, maybe trying to go to Kohl's again. Could not stop cracking up when I went into the sauna. There was like nothing but older men, like without their shirt on. I could not show everything, but it was funny. I was the only woman when I walked in, my contact is bothering me. But yeah, good times.